Welcome back to Friday Night Lights. And, Mike, it's been a tough go for a few District 10 teams as they are trying to continue their season, trying to look for that first win, too. Yeah, but time to celebrate homecoming out in Lawrence Park this evening for the Iroquois Braves. And we'll head out there as the Braves playing the role of possible David versus Goliath. And there we go into the highlights from John L. Post Stadium. Opening drive for the Greyhounds, and boy, did they look good. Darren Miller getting the carry, ripping off a 30-yard run, setting up a first down in Iroquois territory. Two plays later, Kalen Bender, with time in the pocket, finds Junior McConaughey. He covers 31 yards, setting up a first and goal inside the five-yard line. Next play, it's Bender to McConaughey for the touchdown. Wilmington takes care of business on the road. They win by the final of 65 to nothing. Sagertown playing host to Mercer. Maybe that's where we're headed. Second half here, Mustangs <laughs> up 35 to 14. Panthers trying to come back here. Henry Schaefer rolls out. It's Keenan Schaff, takes it down to the Mercer five-yard line. But Sagertown would not come away with any points on that possession. Mustangs next trip. How about Gabe Wiley rolling up and going deep? Aiden Bright making the diving catch Ooh, here. Nicely nice grab done. as Mercer's knocking on the door uh, against the Panthers here. Next play, PJ Bags finishing off the drive. Mercer all over Sagertown tonight. 47 to 14, the final in that one. Connie at Ohio playing host to Sharpsville. We go across the state line. First play for the Spartans, and it's who else? Quarterback Rylan Davison. Calling his own number here as he goes with the keeper up the gut, breaking tackles past the 50, past the 40. Can he ever be <laughs> taken down near the 30? Yes. A few plays later, Davison with it one more time, and he's going to go in from about 10 yards out to make it a 7 0 Spartan lead on that touchdown run. They would roll in this one as Connie at Ohio beat Sharpsville 43 to 7. And taking a look at some other scores on the Lewis Fitness and Performance scoreboard, Farrell shuts out Cochranton 54 to nothing. Reynolds all over Eisenhower 41 to six. Other scores from around District 10: West Middlesex blanked Cambridge Springs 42 to nothing. It was Slippery Rock over Cash 48 to 14. Grove City falling to Sharon 30 to 23. Meanwhile, Westinghouse throttled Irico or excuse me Hickory 58 to 14. Here we are taking on Canisius, New York, and Buffalo tomorrow afternoon, a 1 o'clock start for the Royals. How about OHL hockey? Otters hosting Saginaw tonight at the Erie Insurance Arena. No score in the first. Otters to the power play. And how about Jamie Drysdale for Max Golod? Second look at it. First goal of the game, third of the season for Golod, 1 0 Erie. Spirit score the next four. DJ King in the first, Danny Kadick in the second, and then two more. Damian Giroux in the second as well. Jake Golodowski would make it 4 1 Saginaw in the third. But how about the Otters coming back? Golod would score his second of the night, fourth of the season, and heading to the Lewis Fitness and Performance scoreboard. The Otters fall 4 2 on the home ice against the Spirit. They host Kingston tomorrow at 7 o'clock at the Erie Insurance Arena. College hockey news Mercyhurst men's head coach Rick Gawkin is staying put with the Lakers. On Friday, the university announced that they have signed him to an extension. No terms of the deal were disclosed. Gawkin spent just over three decades so far as head coach of the Lakers and has 559 career victories. Gawkin has also directed the Lakers to six NCAA tournament appearances and five league championships. Meanwhile, the Mercyhurst Lady Lakers opening up their season tonight on the road at Colgate. And Mercyhurst falls by the count of 2-1. to one. Alexa Vasco with the lone goal for Mercyhurst. Meanwhile, Kennedy Blair making 25 saves in the defeat. Same two programs will be back at it again on Saturday afternoon. And when we come back on Friday Night Lights, we'll have our fans and play of the night. Plus our band of the night as well. Uh, just wrapping things up here on Friday Night Lights. Don't go away.